Hey guys, bringing you another key repair video today, working on a Dell Vostro computer, uh, showing you how to remove safely a key without breaking it, and then how to install it safely without breaking it. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is because uh, most likely if you're here, your model of Vostro has a French inset keyboard. What that means is if you try to pick up your keyboard or remove it, you're kind of breaking your palm rest, and to get another one on there, it will never be as secure. So. Uh, preferably you replace your keys individually as they break or they're lost versus the entire keyboard. Um, if you can't find loose keys for sale online, you probably are going to have to buy a used keyboard, in which case, as we're going to show you, uh, you'll have to take one off and then put it onto yours. So I'm going to zoom in here so you, we, we, we can see a key. I can show you what I'm going to do to get it off. Okay, so keep in mind if you ever have any questions or anything, leave a message down bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, we're doing a normal size key today. So if you're looking for a larger key, like enter space shift, um, there'll be a link below in the description on how to do a large key for Dell. Uh, they're gonna look a little different underneath. So I'm gonna take my, uh, my flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna pry it underneath my key cap, but try to get it on top of the retainer clip underneath. And I'm doing that because I want to hold the retainer clip down so it doesn't bend and break while I rip this off. So I'll do it real quick here for you and then I'll show you what we're looking at once I get in there. There we go. Okay, so that came up fairly easily. Uh, and as you can see, I was holding down this white retainer clip. Now yours may be black, uh, but they'll generally be made the same way. There'll be two part retainer clip held together in the middle that provides this accordion action as it opens up. There'll be a rubber component in the middle which bounces your key cap back up. Be very careful not to break that. Um, it's held on by glue and it's very hard to get back down if you break it. And they're generally laid out in the same way. They're fastened down in the same way. There's two metal pins toward the bottom corners, two metal pins toward the top corners. Uh, rarely, on some occasions, you'll see one with one metal pin in the middle on, on one of the sides. Uh, but this is laid out pretty standard. Uh, so in order to get this up, I'm going to try to find the metal pins closest to the edge, which in my case are up here. I'm going to press up as much as I can on that retainer clip, try to get as much give as I can, and I'm going to gently and slowly try to pry the plastic up from under the metal. Uh, very delicate very thin plastic. If you do break it, it'll probably be here. Um, so I'm gonna go nice and slow. I'm gonna try to get it up without breaking it and then show you what it looks like, if I do. So push up, like that. Get this one out now. All right. Oh, so mine came apart. So if yours comes apart, don't freak out. You can put it back together. Again, there's two separate parts. See, two separate parts. And uh, they go back together in the middle. Okay. So I'm kind of glad that happened so you could see it. Um, so there's your clip. Let me spin that around so you can see it better. So this is what we were trying not to break here. Uh, this little hole to the corner and that little hole to the corner. Very thin plastic. Um, again, if you do break it, it, it'll be here. And as you saw, mine kind of came apart, but it's fairly easy to get back together. There's just a, a little plastic pin here, a little plastic pin there, and they fit together. Um, and if you get lost on that part, just reference one of the other retainer clips and you can see how to put it back. So in order to put this back in now without breaking it, also we didn't break these two plastic things, which is good. Those break fairly easily too. So now that we got it out without breaking it, let's put it back in, we'll flip that back over. Uh, in order to get it in, we are going to put the bottom in first. So we're gonna go in reverse. Get that bottom in there, lay that down. Kind of a pain. It's always a pain getting it down. Okay, cool. Uh, so now, if you get it in there, get the bottom pins nice and secure. I get the plastic under them, and once you're convinced it's laid out as it should be and it's centered, press the top corners and they should just snap in. Just like that. Uh, so we got it out without breaking it, got it in without breaking it. You bring your keycap over, center that as much as you can, 
And then when you're convinced that's in the right spot, press down and that should snap in. Right like that. So there you go. That's how you would remove a key safely. That's how you would install it safely. Uh, again, any questions or comments, leave them below. If something freaked you out, if you saw something you weren't expecting, let me know. Um, if you enjoyed do-it-yourself repair, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.